Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest, .com. and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice thick little pom pom. Now, this is kind of a midweek snack type video. Um, I'm showing you this because it, as it gets closer to the holidays, there'll be a lot more crafts using pom poms, whether you use it for package decorations or to place on top of your um, crocheted or knitted hats, whatever you use it for. So I'm going to show you how I make these on the Clover Pom Pom Makers. Now this particular yarn that I purchased, um, here's the label, here's who it's by, and if you flip it over you can see that it is a medium four. Okay. Now I purchased um, this yarn in red as well, so that's what we're going to be using today. Now the Clover Pom Pom Makers I have <clears throat> came two in a package, and they have all kinds of sizes, but this was um, the small, the small pom poms. So um, as you can tell, there's one a little larger and one a little smaller, so we're going to use the larger of the two. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you open it up like this. And as you can tell, one side is like a rainbow, the other side is like a bowl. But if you flip it over, it's just the opposite. Here's the bowl, and here's the rainbow. And it comes apart like this. Okay. Now you can actually start on either side it doesn't matter so I'm just going to close this up and start on this side just make sure that um, you have what looks like a rainbow before you start you don't want to start it like that okay like this so first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to pull out some of this yarn so we'll have plenty Okay, and I'm going to start just by holding this yarn like this and just gently wrapping around. I'm going to catch that yarn like that, just kind of wrap around it. All right, and you just want to make straight, even wraps, and be careful when you go around the feet area because there has been a couple of times where I've caught it like that and then you know continued wrapping so you don't want to do that so be careful when you get to the feet and you just keep wrapping I'm not pulling tight or anything like that just wrap 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 and just keep going back and forth from one end to the other and I want to wrap this fairly thick. Gotta be careful around those feet. Here we go. Going all the way back now. Some people like to count their wraps. I never have. I just stop when I think it looks good. And of course, the more wraps you do, the thicker your pom-pom will be. But you don't want to make this so thick that the yarn right here goes past the feet. You see the feet right here? You don't want that yarn to go past there. So I think I'm coming up on what looks like it might be my final round here. Yeah, I'll just kind of stop it right about here. So I'm going to take my scissors. If I can, there we go. And I'm just gonna cut it like that. Now if you wanna leave this loose, you can, but if that bugs you, <laughs> then you can take a little piece of tape and just tape it down temporarily. 
just a little tiny piece like that. Just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to push that part closed. Okay, and I'm going to open this part. Now, it looks like a bowl. We don't want that. We want to turn it over so it'll look like a rainbow. And that's how we're going to start. So let me pull out a little more yarn. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to place my yarn here, and then make my first wrap and kind of wrap around it like that, to kind of hold that in place. And I'm going down one side, once again, not pulling tight, just trying to make nice straight even wraps being careful around the feet there you go and the multicolored yarn would look really pretty on this too and you can also use one color for one side and one color for the other side and have a two-tone pom-pom okay wrapping around the feet trying to be careful going back up here And I think this looks pretty good about here, so I'm going to stop it because I don't want to go past the feet with the yarn. Alright, so I'm just going to cut this right about here. Okay. And I'm going to fold that. Okay, so now we have what looks like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do and <clears throat> is um, take our small scissors here and we're going to go through this groove right here with our scissors and start snipping. You can kind of feel, you see how my scissors are sitting in this groove right here? down see then we're going to turn this over take off that tape and do the same thing I'm going to start here and I'm going to snip and see how the scissors just kind of lay right there in that groove there we go make sure you got it all okay so now we have what looks just like this all right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a fairly long piece of yarn, and I like a long piece because um, you never know what you're going to use the pom-pom for, so you want to have that extra length, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking this yarn, and I'm going to set it in the groove, and then pull it down and you see how it disappeared Okay. then I'm going to turn it over and then tie an overhand knot and you'll see this disappear as well I'm going to make this snug Okay. you don't want to break the yarn but you want to make it snug and then I'm going to flip it over and tie it with an overhand knot again and it's important that it's snug because if it's not you're going to have a loose pom-pom which is no good right. 
nice and snug. And I'll do this one more time. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this part and flip this over open this part like so okay now we're going to pull it apart like I showed you at the very beginning it comes apart okay. and I'll close that back up okay so we have our little pom-pom now we need to fluff it out and I just shake it like this like that so as you can see this is really nice and thick but now we have to cut those little pieces off now when you're cutting these off you're going to cut just oh, I hate it when I shake <laughs> I'm going to cut just the top fuzzy parts off like that you're not going to make deep cuts just cutting the tips off like this just the very tip and you can see down here that I'm just cutting the fuzz off basically so um, that's what you're going to do you're going to take your time doing this okay the main thing is don't lay your scissors in there and, and start cutting deep. When I made my first pom-pom, um, it was a mess because I did that. I cut very deep and it did not turn out right. It barely resembled a pom-pom by the time I got through. Maybe a bald pom-pom, but... <laughs> so just barely cutting the fuzzy tips off and you'll have a beautiful pom-pom and you have to know when to stop too because pom-poms they're not going to be a hundred percent perfect um, you can just do your best and cut the take your time and cut the very tips the, the fuzzy parts off the ones that are slightly longer, but just do it a little at a time. And see, it's already looking nice. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do this. It might take you a couple minutes. It might take you 15 minutes. But if you're cutting a tiny bit at a time, you're safer doing it that way. Because then you're not going to cut too much and say, whoops. But you can't put it back, that's for sure. See, it's already looking nice. Shake it out again. And see, it's all fuzz. I'm not making any deep cups, cuts. You don't see any big strips of yarn here. <laughs> Alright. So I'll probably work on this just a tiny bit more but overall I think it turned out really nice and I'm going to look in my stash to see what kind of yarn I have in there because I would like to play with these a little bit so I hope you enjoyed this video clean this up real quick I hope you give this a try yourself because it really is easy. Got two little pom poms there now. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye bye.